Today at the Boot Guy, we are looking at the Red Wing Heritage number 8062, The Merchant, in this beautiful roughed out olive leather. Now probably one of the first things you notice about the Merchant when you see it sitting on the shelf in your local Red Wing dealer is that it looks like nothing else that's on the shelf because of the roughed out leather. Now at first look you're going to think oh it's a suede heritage boot but really what it is it's the SB foot leather that is flipped on the other side. Sure they do a little bit to bring out the nap and just to give it this beautiful look but it's just as thick as any other heritage boot. So that means you're getting the same longevity within the wearing and the life of the boot and you're not sacrificing anything by buying a suede soft lightweight boot. Now when I say sacrifice most of the time when it comes to suede boots you don't get a lot of durability. What you get is a beautiful soft handle leather but you don't get the strength that comes from a real thick non-split piece of leather. The Merchant is using that single piece leather that is absolutely stunning. And if you get a chance to pick a pair up, flip the tongue back, stick your hand inside. And what you feel on the back side of that leather, that's the smooth leather. That's what we would normally see on the other side. It's really nice just to see somebody stepping outside the box and just using a material, a natural material in a different way. And it really brings a lot of character to this style of boot. Now, when you open up the Merchant, what you're gonna notice is the gusseted tongue. And the thickness on this tongue is a little bit thinner than you're gonna find on a lot of the other heritage boots but it's not paper thin it's not the type of tongue you got to worry about as you tighten down your boot that you're going to start to deteriorate the tongue you're going to start to get those lines from the laces from just your foot from moving around in there those lines will appear sure it happens to all beautiful leather products but it's not going to wear through like it does on some really thin leather products now on the merchant red wing has gone what they're calling the chem gum sole and this is a beautiful nitrile based type cork sole it's not as thick as some of the other soles out there that are the nitrile based it's a little bit thinner it has less cork in it but it has a very nice low profile. That boot, just by the look alone, has more of a dress appeal than it does a casual heavy duty heritage look and appeal to it. It is more of a dress boot because of that. Now with that beautiful sole, you get this beautiful defined heel and that beautiful defined heel really adds to the comfort of the boot because now you're really standing in the shank section and it's not that tall of a heel. So with every step, you're going to have a nice comfortable gait. Now, of course, the boot is fully welted as you would come to expect with something from Red Wing Heritage. So it means it's recraftable, resolvable, rebuildable, however you want to say it. These things, once you wear out that sole, if you can actually wear down that sole, you're going to be able to have a new one put on. And since it is Red Wing Heritage and they offer so many different soles nowadays, there's no reason to stick with the same one. Get a little excitement in your life and try something different if you're going to have them resold. Now the last they're using to build this boot on is their number eight last, which is the same last that they use to build the blacksmith. So if you're already wearing a pair of blacksmiths and you're worried about size and fit because you're going to pick up a pair of these roughed out merchants, you really don't have to worry because they should fit identical since they're built on the exact same template. Now there's a few details that go into this boot that I really, really like. And one is the brass eyelets and the color that the brass eyelets turn out as you start to wear and wear them away. Because of the olive leather and because of the color, as that brass wears out from the laces moving back and forth, it takes on that old tool look. That look of a tool from the turn of the century that's been worn and used and just rubs away all that color, adding to a patina. And that brings us to the actual leather itself and caring for it. Now, with something that looks like this, right off the bat, what you're thinking is preservation. How do you keep it looking like this? How do you keep that color and that nap and everything going on? Personally, I don't think you should. I think you should let this thing get a little bit of life in it. I think you should let it get dirty. I think you should let it get a little scuffed up because a beautiful boot like this made from a beautiful chunk of leather like this is only going to get better the more life that it has attached to it. 
Now, if you need to keep it clean and you want to restore the nap, which is what they call this roughy look that is in the material, they sell a special brush. It's called a suede brush that you can brush in here. It's kind of like a little piece of rubber and you just brush it in there and it picks up the nap on the leather. But in my opinion, you probably do it once in a while. That's all you really need because it's a heritage boot. And these boots are made to be worn, abused, and just become part of your life. Now, if you're worried about the size and the fit on a pair of these, go to a Red Wing shop and try them on. At least there, you're going to be able to try full sizes and half sizes, and you're going to be able to spend some time in them inside the shop. I will say this, bring different socks with you when you do go to try them on. Try them on with wool socks, try them on with nylon socks, and also try them on with whatever it is you're wearing all the time. If by buying this boot, you have to start buying new and different socks, it's not the worst thing in the world because a boot like this is always going to be part of your collection. Now I have to mention the inside of the boot because a lot of guys don't understand when they're buying these Red Wing Heritage boots that inside here is a hard leather footboard. Now that hard leather footboard is something that breaks into your foot that as you wear the boot and as you break it in, you start to shape and form it to your foot. By no means is it a comfortable process if it's your first time doing it. If it's old hat to you and you've already owned several pairs of heritage boots, then you know what to do. But if it's your first time doing it, you're going to have to suffer through it. There's going to be a little pain and there's going to be a little discomfort, but it's nothing that you can't put up with because you got to remember by the time you've crushed that footboard down and it's taken on the shapes of your toes, the balls of your foot, the heels and everything else, you're going to have one of the most comfortable pieces of footwear in your collection. Now, the last thing I want to mention about these Red Wing Heritage boots is that they're American made. These boots are made with pride in America by American workers with American materials. So when you buy a pair of Heritage boots, you know that you're keeping that cycle going. So that's the Red Wing Heritage Merchant, number 8062 in this beautiful roughed out leather. Hey, if you're currently wearing a pair of these merchants, please comment below and let guys know about the size, the fit, the breaking period. And also, if your pair of merchants is the roughed out leather, please comment below and let guys know, are you taking care of it? Are you brushing it? Or are you just letting life grow into your pair of boots? Hey, if you want to know more about the merchant or if you want to see some of my detailed photos of this boot, swing by to bootguy.com. I'll have all that compiled in a blog posting and I'll also have some detailed photos of the inside of the boot so you can see that leather footboard and you can see what I'm talking about. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. Remember, if you're on Instagram or Twitter, you can always follow me there all week long. I get beautiful, interesting boots like this. I take some photos of them. I put it out there so we can have conversations about the boots. Hey, if you're about to pick up a pair of Heritage boots for your first pair of boots ever, and you've just got some questions about what's the right style, what's the right fit, and what's the right leather for you, feel free to shoot me over an email and pick my brain. All right, until the next time, I'm the boot guy. Thanks a lot for watching.